Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. So today's pick a card is going to be titled, Who Will You Kiss Next? I'm going to be looking into all kinds of details about the person that you're going to be kissing, including their astrological sign, all the things about their personality that you want to know, and anything else that Spirit wants to tell me about this person. And if you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can become part of my YouTube family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I love you all so much. Let's go ahead and get started on today's Pick a Card reading. Who will you kiss next? Hello and welcome to your pile selection with gemstones. If you'd like to choose with images, you can look in the timestamps for the images. And if you prefer gemstones, you're in the right place. So. For pile number one, if you're attracted to this blue kyanite, you're going to choose pile number one. For pile two, you'll choose pile two if you're attracted to this snowflake obsidian. And you'll choose pile number three if you're attracted to this argonite gemstone. So go ahead and think about it. If you need more time, you can pause the video. If you're ready, let's get started with today's pick a card all about who will you kiss next. Hello, pile number one. So if you chose image number one or this blue kyanite, you're in the right place. So all I'm doing right now is cleansing the space and we're going to be looking into who is it that you're going to be kissing next. So it's going to be really, really in-depth. And I am going to be getting into their astrological sign. I'll tell you a bit about their personality. And anything else Spirit wants to reveal about this first kiss with this person. Alright, so we're going to begin with the astro dice to reveal this person's astrological sign possible sun, moon, or ascendant. We've got a Scorpio, Aquarius, or Libra. Okay, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Libra for your person that you're going to be kissing next. Now that could be their sun, moon, or ascendant sign. I'm just cleansing the cards that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using my Unity deck which is my own digital art that I created. If you're interested in purchasing a deck for yourself, you can find all the details about that in my description box below. I'm also going to be using the Everyday Witch. All right, so I will start out with this deck, the Unity deck. Spirit, please be here now and help me to deliver messages that are clear, concise, and accurate to pile number one, all about the person that they are going to kiss next. Who is the person that they are going to kiss next? Whoa. Sometimes I keep those if they fly out, but um, I'm gonna keep going. Because I don't feel that was meant for you. Okay, we've got two of swords, interesting, interesting, four of cups, nine of swords, queen of cups, okay. That's another confirmation that this person could very well have Scorpio in their chart. But the Queen of Cups also is indicative of Pisces and Cancer. So we've got Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. Okay? So it could be any of those signs. But basically this person, I'll tell you a little bit about this person. And I'm going to draw two more cards too. Ooh, spicy. Okay. It's going to be instantaneous love at first sight with this person. 
they are going to have a very, very intuitive type of gift, okay? They're very intuitive, this person, very spiritual in their nature, and um, they could be interested in the occult, or they could be just somebody who is very in touch with their emotions, very, um, has a lot of emotional depth. They're very um, powerful people and very passionate. So whatever they do, they put a lot of power and passion into it. This person that you're gonna kiss is very exciting and very, very magnetizing. They draw you into them. Especially there's something about their eyes that's very magnetic. And this person, whether they have blonde hair or dark hair, it doesn't matter. There's something about their hair that is very, very sexy. They've got a lot of hair. Um, I don't see this person as having extremely thin hair. I see them as having nice hair and nice eyes that are penetrating. If this is a female that you're going to be kissing, she's very voluptuous. She has very nice breasts. She has full full breasts. She's, she has a very beautiful hourglass figure. And she's got a lot of depth about her. Very inquisitive mind. And if you are a female watching this and you're inquiring about a male that you'd like to kiss, this male is going to be tall, dark, and handsome, is what I'm hearing. Tall, dark, and handsome. And even if they have blonde hair, they're still going to have this like mysterious vibe about them and kind of be like that sort of like mysterious sort of, you know, they're going to have that mysterious quality that draws you in toward them. Now, this person is basically somebody who sometimes can get bored if they're with the wrong person and i do feel like previous to you know this kiss or prior to this kiss this person who was the person they were with before you caused them a lot of anxiety caused them to be up a lot at night okay and caused them to be bored in this relationship because not only were they bored, they were also scared, nervous. This person didn't really captivate them. They knew that this other person was not a good fit for them, but they stayed in the relationship with this other person for too long. I'm hearing it was like expired milk, but they didn't get rid of it. They just kept drinking the expired milk. This person will tell you when they meet you that or when you kiss this person, they'll tell you the person they were with prior to, to you was somebody who zapped their energy. It was somebody who, like I said, made them stay up late at night with a lot of anxiety, made them feel very out of balance. But with you, they feel very in balance, very balanced. Body, mind, and spirit, it's love at first sight when they see you. I do feel like you you have not met this person yet. For many of you, you have not met this person yet. But when you do, it will be love at first sight. Such an attraction. Such a connection too. You will be immediately connected with this person. And they will draw you in with their warmth, their sunny disposition. And they'll make you feel like you can really relax around them you're going to be having this person feel very comfortable too. And there's a potential for real longevity with this connection, as a matter of fact. The person that you're going to kiss is going to have such a vivid imagination. And they're also going to be a very sensitive type of person. Meaning that they, they get hurt feelings very easily. And so they go, they're going to need a lot of positive affirmations. So when you meet this person, remember to give them a genuine compliment so that it makes them feel comforted and affirmed. Just remember that, okay? Another thing about this person that you need to know is that this person is going to be quite a selfless person, very unworldly, 
they they're not thinking of themselves they're they're the kind of person that likes to please other people and they spend a lot of time pleasing other people if the person is worth it and this person is going to feel like you are definitely worth it i'm feeling that very strongly for you pile number one i truly like this person's energy and i'm a water sign as well and i can kind of resonate with the vibes of this person and so it makes me believe that this person has a very caring heart um, and they have a sex appeal about them as well. Knowing what I know about water signs, um, this person is going to be oozing a lot of sex appeal without even trying. Hence, this is why they're going to draw you in, okay? That and they have a very magnetizing aura about them. They're like a good luck charm to you which is so exciting. And this person, you could even meet this person online through a dating profile app or through some kind of Facebook app or something um, through a mutual friend, okay? Either one of those options. Now I'm going to get into the everyday witch to see what else spirit would like to tell us about this connection i have chills all over i'm so excited for you pile number one because this person is going to be fantastic and you deserve it because spirit is letting me know what a really good person you are pile number one and how much you're really needing a change in your life and this person is just the change that you need Yes, because you've had some time to yourself now. Maybe you've been single for a little while and you've had a time out and you've had time to think about what you really want in the next person. And this person is going to be everything on your list that you wanted because you've been manifesting this person. Your person is going to be somebody who has wonderful leadership qualities and traits. They're going to be highly respected. They could even be the boss at the workplace or someone who's in upper management. They could be in charge of training. With the emperor there, there's somebody who could also represent an Aries person, an Aries sun sign or moon sign or, or ascendant sign. And so this person is very well connected to other people. The emperor here is also extremely brave. They're not shy and they're very, very passionate about everything that they do. Your person that you're going to kiss is going to be very quick with it. Very, very quick with a comeback, extremely intelligent. And when they walk into a room, everyone lights up because this person is very, very, um, uh, I want to say vivacious and people like this person, okay? They're a very likable person. They're also a very hardworking person with the 10 of wands there. They have a lot of work ethic and they believe in working and saving money. So this person has a good head on their shoulders as well as being very, very attractive. You may experience a soulmate connection with this person it may feel like you've known this person for a really long time. Don't be surprised if at first this person might have their guard up because they don't wanna get hurt. They've been hurt in the past and they don't wanna get hurt. So they may have their guard up a little bit with the seven of wands there. That's the haters back off card. So this person just might be a little bit, you know, defensive at first or have a wall up or some kind of a guard up. But as soon as they get to know your sweet, soft nature, they are going to open up to you and they will let their guard down and they will show you who they truly are on the inside and they will be more vulnerable with you. It just might not happen immediately right when you first meet this person. It may take a few weeks or um, a month or two to get them to really feel at peace within this new connection because like I said, they're carrying some heartbreak from a previous connection that they had and this connection, like I said, was like expired milk and they hung on to it for entirely way too long. 
And so this person, when you meet them and you kiss, and um, you hey, you may fall in love very fast with this person, but this person is kind of on hold as far as falling for someone right away, but there's gonna be a really strong connection. But the love will come because you have a soulmate connection and they will realize this, but it, like I said, it may take a few weeks or a month or two for this person to really be ready to fall in love with you, okay? And we've got the hermit. This person has been spending some time alone. We also had this, something similar to this in, um, it was, ah, yes, it was the Four of Swords, which is for a timeout. This person has had a timeout, you've had a timeout, and therefore, when you meet this person, you're gonna be able to connect because this person is taking a little break as well. Same as you, okay? Just taking a little break from dating. Um, this person has just gotten out of a relationship, so you will meet this person. I'm very excited for you. And I hope that you enjoyed this reading, pile number one. If you did, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be part of my YouTube family. I would just love to have you be part of my YouTube family. And for those of you who are returning subscribers, thank you so very much for being here. I truly love and appreciate you all. If you would like a further personal reading, please be sure to check out my description box below for all of the information on how you can obtain a personal reading from me. And it's never expected, but it's always appreciated. If you would like to donate to my channel, please look in the description box below for information on how you can do that. If you leave me a comment, I will always reply to those. Let's keep it positive. Thank you so much. Stay beautiful, pile number one. I love you all so much. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number two. My beautiful pile number two. So if you chose image number two or this snowflake obsidian, you're in the right place. So today we are going to be looking into who are you going to kiss next? I am going to be using the Unity deck, which I created using my very own digital art. And if you're interested in purchasing a deck for yourself, you can find that information in my description box below. I'm also going to be using the Everyday Witch deck. I think I will start out the reading with the Unity deck. I'm also going to be using the Astro Dice. So let me first begin with the Astro Dice and a prayer to Spirit. So Spirit, please be here now. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to pile number two all about the person who they will kiss next. What is this person's astrological sign? And what can you tell us, Spirit, about this person, their personality? And anything else about the situation? Okay, this person is going to be a Sagittarius, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. They will have that somewhere in their birth chart. This person is someone who is extremely joyful, optimistic. They have an amazing sense of humor too. They can be very just happy people, okay? They have a great smile. That's how you're gonna know this person. It could be just coming out of a bad relationship with the tower, some sort of divorce, or some sort of ending to a relationship that was pretty recent. Anything else, Spirit? Yes, this person is wonderful. They're very um, crafty. They're good with their hands. They could be someone who is a writer, someone who does arts and crafts or builds things, okay? Maybe they're into carpentry or they have a job where it's very hands-on, okay? This person, you're gonna fall in love with this person with the Two of Cups. It's gonna be like an immediate crush. With the Two of Cups here, it's all about the lovers coming together. And it also is indicative of a great relationship ahead. And this is something to be very happy and excited about. And your person is going to be very dreamy in their nature. Um, they're going to, I know this is just something that Spirit is telling me, they're going to be an intuitive person, very spiritual, like-minded, like okay? And this person has gone through something in the past where 
they were betrayed okay they were betrayed in the past and that's what their their last relationship ended because they were betrayed this their last partner was telling them lies and they're done with lies and this person hates lies and they want someone who is a straight shooter straightforward and doesn't lie so um this person is just tired of lies so know that when you meet this person be very honest with this person and let them know what's on your heart and mind. They could very well be an earth sign as well, in addition to these, um, or they could just act like an earth sign. And when I say earth sign, what do I mean? Well, I'm talking about a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus person. Capricorns, Tauruses, and Virgos are very responsible people. They have wonderful work ethics, they work hard, they're very generous to all people. They always give the best advice. They have a big open heart. The only drawback is sometimes they can worry a little too much. They're overthinking things sometimes, but they're good analyzers. They're somebody you want on your team. If you're having a project or if you're running a project, you want an earth sign on your team. This person is very knowledgeable, very practical, in their nature very good with details very very diligent and a hard worker not to mention their intelligence is out of this world they value intelligence as well they're analytical always in their minds so this person is going to be quite a deep thinker they're also going to really cherish your physical touch and then they're going to enjoy Whenever you touch them, whether it be a nice warm hug, a kiss, or a massage, this person loves physical touch and all things pleasure. They also love and enjoy a good meal and anything else that's, that's of the senses that brings pleasure. They're so warm hearted and loving, very generous people and someone you can really, really fall in love with and they're very reliable. Um, they're very patient. And this is one thing that, you know, um, I appreciate about this sign is that they're very patient people. So this person, when you meet them, um, they're gonna be, they're not gonna be like in a rush or rushing you or being hasty or anything. They're gonna let you set the pace and they're gonna take things nice and slowly, okay? I really don't feel like this person is going to want to move quick, quick, quick with you. Okay, after the kiss, they might just kind of transition to a nice, respectable pace, okay? But they're going to let you set the tone because they're going to be valuing what you want, okay? This person does have a certain amount of wealth built up, savings. Um, it, it is always possible that this person could earn a higher salary than what you are earning right now um, but they're they're very humble about it okay but they are very successful people in their business um, this person is very capable and they may have just recently purchased a home or a big big purchase this could have been a new vehicle or a new home or they're saving up money and planning on buying a new home very soon. With the 10 of cups there, I feel like this person is celebrating life and all that life has to offer. And when they meet you, they're gonna be so happy to finally find someone who's worth it, someone who's worthwhile, because they have been through the ringer with somebody who lied to them and this was very, very hurtful. Now I'm going to um, segue into the um, Everyday Witch cards. And I'm going to um, find out a little bit more, okay, about this person. Whoa! The sexual chemistry is going to be out of this world. With the Page of Swords there, that's indicative of a very potent, strong sexual chemistry between the two of you. So you'll know this person 
by that strong sense you feel of attraction for each other. It's very palpable. You may feel it in your heart area. When you look at this person, you may get tingles or a jolt, a strong jolt sensation, jolting sensation. And you know that this person's the one that you're gonna kiss. I feel like you're going to just know it. What up, spirit? This person is going to be able to shower you with compliments because they're going to see so many good traits about you. And you're somebody that they're really going to be able to, to give a lot of praise to. And they're going to just appreciate you. They're not afraid of verbalizing their feelings for you. Okay, they're not the type of person who hides their emotions. King of Pentacles, Earth sign. We got this again. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This could be their overall energy. We have the king and the queen here of Pentacles. This tells me you will be a power couple. You will have an opportunity to date this person after you kiss. And this person and you will be a, quite the power couple. With the four of cups there, this person is no longer going to be sad and you are no longer going to be sad because you're going to satiate something very deep inside of each other. You're going to be able to help pick each other up and lift each other up in such a way that is almost magical. It's something you've been waiting for for a very long time. You are not going to be having sleepless nights. This person is going to take away any anxiety type of feelings. And they are going to take away any kinds of pessimism. Because we got pessimism here as well. They're going to take away these feelings and erase them from your memory. This person is going to want to be the kind of person that makes you smile, makes you laugh, makes your life better not worse. So this is a thing of the past. And in the future, we've got the Queen of Swords. We've got the Strength. And we've got the Five of Pentacles. You're going to be feeling stronger and more hopeful because you have had such a hard time with the Five of Pentacles there. You've had a feeling of a course of bad luck. And this person is going to uplift you and bring you out of that so that you're going to be strong, so that you can conquer this feeling of bad luck. Do not take this feeling of bad luck into this next connection, Spirit is saying. Okay, do not take the past with you into this new connection with this person. Be strong. But be open, okay? Don't have such a guard up. That's what Spirit is saying. Don't have such a guard up. It's okay to trust. You're a very strong person. But try not to take the, the past into this future connection. Try to be open. And try to know that this next person has very good intentions for you. Trust. Surrender. I'm hearing surrender. It's okay to surrender to the possibilities. And this person doesn't want to get hurt just as much as you don't want to get hurt. Anything else you want to tell us, Spirit? Don't be afraid of trying something new, of going down a totally new path or a new direction. Um, you're not alone. You're very, very brave. And your spirit team, your divine team, is helping you, is encouraging you to go down a new path. You may meet this person in an unusual way or an unlikely way that you didn't see coming. And this relationship, this kiss, is going to take you by surprise because it could be with somebody you least expect. 
And you may look back and say, wow, I cannot believe that this person was the one that I was going to kiss next. I also heard this could be for some of you a friends with benefits that you it could be a friend that you already know someone you already know okay and yeah so for some of you you will meet this person and for some it's a friends with benefits or it's a friend who someone who's been a friend who is going to be more than a friend in the future. Interesting. If this is a friend that you are going to kiss, just know that this person's love for you is is real and their their feelings that they're having are authentic and it's okay to trust them, okay? It's okay to trust what they say. That is what spirit is leading me to say. And if this is somebody that you haven't met yet, Get excited now because there's going to be some wonderful things happening to you revolving around this person and this connection. And I am very excited for you. And I can't wait to hear about this. I hope that you uh, come back and you let me know how this went because this is exciting. All right. Much love to you all. Stay beautiful, pile number two. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please be sure to subscribe, press that like button and like this video and leave me a comment that's nice. I will always respond to those as long as they're positive. And if you would like a further personal reading, please be sure to check out my description box below for more information on how you can obtain a personal reading with me. And it's never expected, but always appreciated. If you would like to donate to my channel, you can find the information for that in my description box below as well. I love you all very, very much, and I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope you come back to watch more videos. Bye-bye. Hello, beautiful pile number three. So today's pick a card is going to be all about who will you kiss next? And if you chose this Argonite and image number three, you're in the right spot. I will be using the Unity deck that I created using my own digital art. If you're interested in purchasing the Unity deck for yourself, you can find more information for that in my description box below. I am cleansing the decks right now as to get the previous energies off from them. I am also going to be using the Everyday Witch deck I love this deck too. And I'm going to be using the Astro Dice. We're going to start off the reading with the Astro Dice so that you can find out the astrological sign of this person. Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. So Spirit, please be here now. Help me to reveal the truth to pile number three. Clearly, concisely, and accurately. So that pile of three can know and understand who they are going to kiss next. We've got Sagittarius, Taurus, Gemini. Sagittarius, Taurus, Gemini. All right, now I'm going to shuffle the Unity deck and I'm going to draw more cards. But as I do, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this person that you're going to meet. This person that you're going to meet is going to be someone very patient. They've been waiting a while to find the right person. They'll wait as long as it takes to find the right one. But when they see you, they're gonna be quite smitten. This person is extremely reliable, very loving and warm-hearted, and they're very persistent. And when I say that, what I mean is that they go after what they want with all of their heart and soul and they're very determined. They love saving up money because it's important to them to build a sense of security and they have a great head on their shoulders. But they also have a sense of adventure. They love to start little projects, okay? Lots of little projects. 
This person is somebody who doesn't mind change. They, they are very flexible. They're very resilient as well. They're great communicators and they have a great sense of humor. They're well-spoken. They'll come across to you as very intelligent, maybe even intellectual types, and very, very good with their words. They're articulate and eloquent with their speech. They have a youthful vibe and glow about them, and they're extremely, extremely lively, like a live wire. Lots of passion and excitement for life. Okay? Another thing that you should know about this person that you're going to kiss is that this person is somebody who's very optimistic about life. And they look at life as the, ha the glass half full. They have a lot of optimism in their hearts and minds. They're extremely honest. They hate, hate, hate lies. So the more straightforward you can be with this person, the better. And if you enjoy talking about philosophy, you're going to love this person because they love talking philosophy. They love the inner workings of how things work. They love how things are tied together. Okay. They may even be somebody who enjoys um, education and learning. And they could be lifelong learners. They have a real passion for learning. This is why they're so smart. Now, we're, let's dig a little deeper and find out more about this person that you're going to kiss. We've got the Four of Pentacles here. This person is really good at saving money. They're very good savers. This is one of the reasons why they have such a good head on their shoulders. Because they can earn, they have a great earning capacity and they're wonderful with saving money. They have the patience to see their wishes in coming into fruition and they're willing to put in the work that it takes. They are planners. They don't like to just be spontaneous and they don't really enjoy surprises. They're more likely to like to enjoy planning things out and they enjoy collaborating with other people. This could be a Gemini. That's another confirmation. We've got Gemini here and Gemini here. Geminis are wonderful people. They don't necessarily wear their emotions or their heart on their sleeve, but they are someone who's capable of a lot of emotional depth. Like I said, they don't always show or reveal their emotions to people. Um, the King of Swords, this could be male or female, is someone who is very, very smart, okay? They can get bored very easily if you don't keep them stimulated with a good conversation. So keep that in mind when you meet this person, okay? Six of Cups, this is for soulmate connections wonderful friendships between the two of you. You'll have a wonderful friendship-based connection that's going to grow into something more romantic. we got the Seven of Wands here, which can talk about being a little bit defensive. Or it could also speak to making other people jealous. And I really do feel in this particular instant, in this case, you are making other people jealous with this connection. Your person is going to be very romantic, the very most romantic person you've probably ever been with. They're going to be telling you exactly what they think of you in such a way that they're going to swoop you off of your feet. <laughs> okay. Very, very much like romantic type. Okay. They could write you poetry, sing you songs, take you to dinner. Treat you like royalty. Treat you like you're special. Okay, this person is so romantic. And they love to set the mood for uh, making love. So I really do feel like you're going to enjoy their softness. But yet a strength they have about them. 
They're very well balanced in their mind, body, and spirit. They are overall very well balanced, very healthy, very abundant as well. They don't have a lot of hangups about the past and they know how to save up money for the future. They could be wealthy and they could make a high, they could earn a high salary. This card speaks of balance as well. They're very well balanced. They don't stress about things. And also this person is going to be very abundant in whatever they choose to do. They're, they have an abundance about them, a wealth of abundance, and they're ready to start a new cycle with the world there. And they're also going to think the world of you. All right, they're going to think the world of you. Now, I am going to go into the everyday witch, see what else spirit can reveal about this person who you're going to kiss next. Spirit, what else can you tell us about this person that pile number three is going to kiss next? This is somebody that you could actually build a future with, okay? This is a card about family. You've got the parents here, the children, the baby, and even the pets. In the background, you see their beautiful home and all of the money that they've set up together and accrued and saved. This person is serious about a relationship and they're serious about collaborating with you as a team and building an empire together. You'll be hearing from this person very soon via text, email, phone, or some other form of communication. You will be in communication with this person. And this person will, will reach out to you. We've got the Queen of Pentacles here. They see, they're going to see you as someone who is reliable and who gives great advice. And they also give great advice. They have a wonderful ability to hear you out, listen to you with empathy, and give wonderful advice because they, they may even be a little bit older than you. Now, if they're not, they're just, they've been through a lot in life and they have a wealth of knowledge that they can draw from. They may even enjoy reading books. They're, like I said, they love to learn. So they may enjoy um, watching documentaries or reading books. They have a wealth of knowledge. They may enjoy history. Okay, so this person, um, they will have a wealth of knowledge to draw from so they can help people and give good sound advice. Queen of Cups. They're very nurturing. This person is very nurturing. They would never turn you away if you wanted to talk about anything that was bothering you. They're very, very nurturing in the ways that they act towards you in the future. I love this card. The Queen of Cups is someone who gives someone the tools to solve their problems, but doesn't solve the problems for them, but gives them the tools that they need in order to solve their problems. So this person has a lot of tools in their toolkit. This person could be a teacher or they're teaching or helping others in some capacity. They're also ready for marriage. They would like to get married. And with the Nine of Pentacles there, they love to relax and they do love to read. Remember how I said that this person liked to read? There's a girl reading a book. They love to read. They love to relax. They believe in a good hard day's worth of work and they believe in fully relaxing and enjoying life and all that life has to offer. You're going to have incredible sexual chemistry with this person. The attraction between you is going to be out of this world. 
And this is someone who may even want to have children with you in the future. They want to get married and have a child with you. If that's something that you are open to. This person is ready for a change. With the death card there, they're ready for someone mature, someone who is more mature. In their last relationship, they were with someone who wasn't quite mature or ready. But they're, they are looking for someone who is at their level of maturity and who's very responsible. It's currently on hold because there's something that is called divine timing. This person and you are not meant to be together right now, but it is coming in for you. And it will be here in divine timing when the time is right. And when it does, it'll feel so right because it's going to be a soulmate type of connection. With the Six of Cups there, um, this could be somebody that you've known for a while, for some of you, even since childhood or for many, many years. Um, or this could be somebody who's brand new that you have a soulmate connection with. So it's going to be different for all of you because this is a general reading. But this person is a planner. They love to plan things. They're very, very attractive. They love animals. They're good with animals. They're good natured. They're not afraid to try new things. And in fact, trying new things excites them. They love it. And lastly, they will think the absolute world of you. With the world there, you are going to have everything on this person's list and they have been working on manifesting someone just like you into their lives. This has been such a wonderful reading. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this pile number three. All my returning subscribers, I want you to know I love you all very, very much. Um, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell so that you can be notified as I upload new videos. If you're interested in a further personal reading, please be sure to check out my description box below for more information about that. And if you would like to donate to my channel, it's never ever expected but it's always appreciated. And you can find more information for that in my description box below as well. Stay beautiful, pile number three. I love you all so much. Bye.